And, and that's probably why, bro. But let me let me show you the importance of Christ. Why, why is the color the color? If it wasn't important, right? During the Renaissance, uh, uh, hey, what's that artist's name? Uh, Michelangelo went into all the world and he was commissioned to repaint the images of Jesus Christ and to look, come around here, don't you see that? That's what they repainted it to. That is a real man named Caesar Borgia, son of the sixth, uh, uh, the, the sixth uh, uh, Pope of Rome. They used his image to repaint Christ from a black man into a white. Now, if that, and then they took that image into all the dark nations and enslaved the people and made them worship that. Bring it out. Now, if the color of Christ was not important, why would they have done that? What our enemies know is that it's very important. Right. And if it wasn't important, why would God write this in the Bible, 14? Yep. It's the book of Revelation, chapter 1 and verse 14. His head and his hairs were white like wool. So, woolly hair. That was white. And, so, woolly hair. Who had... Uh, all praises, all praises, sister, and you know that this that, that that's important. Imagery, though. Huh? That's just imagery. Yeah, but if but it's also a composite sketch that God gave to his servant John so that he could show that to his servants. But we know that he's black. That's why I say yes is important. We you know what sis? We don't know. I just asked that young man, he said white. I asked little kids yesterday, and look, these are and these because the image it's not because of imagery, it's, it's because of lies. That's right. right. But that's imagery that's right. they portray. That's it's a lie. That's imagery that they wrong. portray. Hosea, Hosea three or four. That's imagery that they portray. Right. So that so that they can control. Yes. That's they right. They want to show. That's that correct. We are less than. That's right. And then they are greater than. So right. So so that so 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 by taking the greatest man on earth. And making him look like them that exalted them, correct? That's why it's important to teach the truth. That and that's what we're doing here, sis. Right. We're teaching our people that not only that let me ask you a question. D does Jesus love everybody? Does God love everybody? That's in the Bible? Yes. That's in the Bible. Okay. Uh Joel 227. I'm gonna show you something, sister. Because because what we did was we learned religion, but we were never taught the Bible. That's right. That's the we difference. Were, you talk to somebody who doesn't believe in religion. Uh, we don't either, sister. We agree, we agree on that. We're not out here teaching religion. We're teaching that God's people were put into slavery for breaking his laws. Right. And that he is going to return and to free them once they learn his laws and start obeying his laws. Right. So, read what you got. This is the book of Joel. Chapter 2 and verse 27. Now we're going to answer the question with the Bible, does God love everybody? Because that's the common conception. Read. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. I'm in the midst of the world. Of Israel. Of everybody. Of Israel. Read. And that I am the Lord your God. Your God. And none else. The Bible said, God said, I'm in the midst of the Israelites. And I'm the Lord their God. And none, and that's plain to understand, my sister. Right, and, and and who is Israel today? Who is Israel today? Because Israel was a man before it was a place, right? Israel, Jacob was renamed Israel, right? So who are his descendants in the earth today? When you say we, who is we? What people? There's a lot of people on earth, sis. Everybody on earth? Come on. Everybody on earth? Brother, we, we, hey bro, the black man, the so-called black man is the descendant of Abraham, Isaac, right. the white man is not a descendant of That's Abraham, right. Isaac, and Jacob. The Chinese man is not a descendant of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. It's that white man. Come on, man. Let's go. Turn it up. Oh, this is the book of Romans 9. Uh, no, no, no. Let, let, let's go back to Joel. Let's go back to read that again. Let's go to Amos 3. Amos 3 and 1. Burn me up, man. Go ahead, read it. Read Amos. Keep talking. Because what we're going to learn is that this Bible is not written to everybody. This Bible is specific to God's people. God's people. Read. This is the book of Amos. Chapter 3 and verse 1. Wait, who? Hear this word. 
that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. And here's the, here's the thing about it. Give me Leviticus 19 to 17. The problem is the man said he's going to call the police on us, all right? But he doesn't say nothing about all the drugs right. that's being pushed in this community. Right. He's not saying nothing about all the violence going on in our communities right now. Right. He's going to call the cops on people like us that's out here to teach against that. That's right. right. To clean up the communities. He's not going to say nothing about that, though. Right. All right? He comes to teach against God's chosen people, right? right. right. That don't make no damn sense. All the drugs and prostitution going on in this community, and he's not going to say nothing about that. Right. But he comes out to teach against he us, said, teaching the Bible. You got to go ask him, I don't know nothing about that. Lying he know lying. about that stuff, man. Everybody see this thing. Plain to see. All the drugs going on in this community, nobody's saying nothing. Right. Right. But you come up against the prophets of the Lord. Right. That's what kills me out here, man. Right. Read Leviticus 19. Yeah. This is the book of Leviticus, chapter 19 and verse 17. This is, what, this is what's killing our communities because nobody wants to say nothing. Go ahead. Thou shalt not cowards. Exactly, cowards. Go. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. The Bible right. said don't hate your brother in your heart. How do you so hate your brother? When you sell them drugs, right. when you sell somebody drugs and their mother's strung out. That's right. Now somebody's not being fair. When you put Planned Parenthood That's in their communities right. when they kill their babies. That's right. By the thousands. Right. That's hatred. Read that again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. When you sit there and you got this prostitution going on in your neighborhoods. That's hatred to your brother. Right. That's somebody's mother, somebody's sister, somebody's daughter dealing with this stuff. Okay. Keep on going. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor. And that's what we need, rebuke. Because it's not, it's not even sane for all these strung out people to be walking around like this, like zombies. Right. Everybody walks around like it's normal. Right. That's the problem in this community. Who's going to stand up for this thing? Who wants to change? What you say, sis? Keep going. Keep going. Rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. Because right. if we don't say nothing, that's how you suffer sin on your brother. Right. Then because when you sin, you break the laws of God, there's going to be a judgment. If you don't want judgment on your brother, you better say something. That's you right. correct your brother. Right. Keep going. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people. He said, don't bear no grudge. So that's why you don't go back and do something to your neighbor. If he did something to, something to you, you go talk to your neighbor. Right. Don't go shoot him up. Don't go steal from him. Don't go do wrong to that brother. Because violence begets violence. And that's why this community is looking like this right now. That's why you got trash all on the damn sidewalks. That's why you have crap being pushed on every corner. Right. You can see that thing plain as day. All the prostitution, he ain't saying nothing though. That's shit that kills me. All your old people do that shit to you. That's shit that kill me, man. Go ahead. But thou shalt love thy neighbor. He said you shall love your neighbor. And you shall love your neighbor. Would you sell, would you sell drugs to your mother? No. So why would you sell it to somebody else's mother? Right. It doesn't make any damn sense. Right. Let's go. But thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. If you, if you don't want nothing to happen to you, don't do it to somebody else. That's what makes it plain. That's right. God makes it plain for you. The same way you want to be treated, you treat the other person. Right. Hey, sis, right here. Let me ask you a question. What, no, no, sis, hold on. Let, you, let, you let, got, let me, let me hold on, sis, hold on for one second. Let me ask you a question. Are you drunk right now? I'm a drunk bitch. She says she's a drunk bitch. And everybody thinks that's okay. Everybody thinks that's normal for someone to be sitting there a drunk bitch, bitch walking, walking around like this. Right. That's somebody's sister. Hey, you got, a, you got a brother or a mother or a father yeah, out here? I, yeah, I got a brother. All right, right. I got four sisters. Four sisters. What are they doing for you right now? They doing nothing. Why not? This is the problem right here. Nobody loves each other. Go ahead. Keep on going. What you got? Ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle. Hey, let me ask you this, bro. Let me ask you this. All these black people walking up and down the street uh, selling drugs, prostitutes, and all the crime. It isn't a damn shame? He don't care. It's not a damn shame? You don't, don't think care. it's bad? He on the store. He don't care. He don't it's, care. it's bad, right? He, he might it's bad. Care. Let me ask you this. Why is, why is nobody doing nothing about it? Right. That's what the government wants. Because that's what the government wants, all right? All right, what are you doing about it, my brother? What's up? You helping these people out? We're trying. What do you do? What do you do to help them out? They have to help themselves. Help themselves first, and then you help, of course, of course. There you go. <laughs> Perfect example. That man don't give a damn about y'all. As long as y'all are drunk and y'all keep on selling drugs, he don't give a damn as long as y'all come in the store and buy his woods. The, the police just drive by wolf at us, waving and stuff. He don't care about us, man. Go ahead, man. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 32 and verse 30. Drunkenness increases the rage of a fool till he offends. It says drunkenness increases the rage of a fool because you're not in your right mind. You're easily offended then. You can't control your emotions when you're drunk. Anything can happen. And it only takes one time to mess up. You get drunk one time and you mess up and do something that'll cost you your life, that'll cost you your freedom. Come on over here, sis. That's the thing about it. 
my brother right here, do you know what we're teaching? We're teaching the Bible, all right? We're teaching what your pastors are scared to tell you. Because your pastors, are, they don't know nothing about the Bible. I dare say that out loud, right? Your pastors don't know nothing about the Bible. Right. The Bible teaches that you so-called blacks and Hispanics are the true, the true Israelites according to the Bible. Right. All right? Nobody else, because God, he ain't dealing with nobody else. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family.